Hi, this is Danielle Zana. Um, doing a vlog, a vlog update. Um, on an email. Um, it kind of looked pretty good. Um, yeah, one universe, one people. Um, which is quite a um, a good post uh, um, connection with um, um with um, extraterrestrial and the relationship between Earth people and um, star people and um, it is all very good um, um, describing you know what it is to be human. Um, is it biological definition or is it transcends uh, race, culture, gender, profession, life roles, and even levels of intelligence and emotional makeup? Um, all very good and all that. Um, the only problem that I have an issue with is at the bottom um, where it says. Um, and even in the email, it's kind of, I don't know what, you know, I have very much disagreement with the, the last paragraph, um, where it says, um, you see, the, the very good paragraph, all this good stuff from here to but that paragraph there is all good stuff, right? They had been completely omitted out from the email, and the stupid one here had been put in the email. The reason why I feel it is, or, or the claim it's stupid, is um, I'll go read through it and I'll give a discussion um, to view my point. They say, um, well, the, the thing says, as there is one God which manifests, manifest one creation. So there's one God which is source of all conscious beings, whether on earth or elsewhere. Now there's a there's a problem with this um, thing is um, as much of the problems on this planet have been created and caused by theism um, and then formed into a religion. Um, as you know, much of the wars and conflicts are caused by this, and this is very much part of the religio-political ideologists um, as when you think about how they go out enforcing policy and law uh, on the basis of an existence of an imaginary thing called God and um, the truth is there is no God and um, um, because the universe itself is extremely, um, um, you know, the universe is not just the universe, it's basically a portion uh, of the whole infinite, um, um, and which is basically an insignificant, the universe itself is an insignificant speck of um, infinity and um, um, very much say if you perceive well kind of modeled the universe as the earth for example which is extremely insignificant um, um, even within the, the, the Milky Way galaxy um, because of the billions of stars um, they exist and then when you go out to the galaxy clusters so on within the capsulated uh, universe. No one really knows the border of the universe itself. Um, not border, I mean boundary. Um, yeah, borders, you know, basically on this planet, we basically indoctrinated of borders and segments and, um, and don't understand the flow of things. Um, and all because of trying to control people and herd people into categories or pens or fields that are called countries. Um, the thing is, um, it is impossible for a deity um, to manifest. Um, it's not even. It's not even one creation. Um, when you think about it, universes um, are 
are forming simultaneously um, within the infinite um, universes. They're not really uh, destroyed or created. They're only kind of like um, being transferred in, you know, into a, a universe what is perceived to be universe and that. Um, the thing is, it's it's very constant. Um, I wouldn't even say that um, that the universe is actually will end or even begin because within inside the universe itself, all the galaxies are are recycling themselves as it is. Um, and I kind of to look at galaxies kind of. Uh, excellent way to model um, the universe, for example, um, that they, they can bump into each other, they combine into each other, when they collide, the universe is collide, they become part of a new one uh, universe, or when they're split apart into two, like two cells um, dividing by meiosis. Um, and as, as well as mitosis, um, it's um, it's it's complicated, and the whole perception of God is basically it's like believing the earth is flat. It's basically a word used to kind of prevent people from thinking deeper beyond the the visible perspective. Um, of the universe and beyond, and um, the universe, it's, you know, consciousness. Yes, I kind of agree with um, consciousness, uh, with beings and all that. But um, it's not united to God, but it's all relationship with each other, uh, you know, in a oneness, like a mesh. Um, that's part of the the infinite infinite um, fractal of existence, which is very is like tesseractic, um, you know, blending in itself, and it's it's hard to describe um, with words. Um, um, the thing is. Um, you can illustrate in the video with um, um, with using a tesseract cube to kind of give you give the idea of what I'm trying to get at, where the fractal is constantly moving, it's going in on itself and expanding from itself, um, and more at the same time is an exchange of energy, ex and as well as exchange of substance and reuse of substance. And energy, because um, which actually correlates to the laws of conservation of energy. Um, nothing is really created or, or destroyed; it just always was. Um, um, well, things. It's, creation is basically a perception of it all, like you moving your hand from left to right um, it's still a hand in that, but it's just moved um, and things are basically reusing it and you can say things are creating from each other and things like that and um, um, I just don't like using the word God um, because it just boxes the mind um, away from infinity, the whole consciousness of infinity. Um, this 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 is the problem on this planet. It it actually lowers one consciousness. Um, it, the perception the the the, uh, the idea of God actually lowers the consciousness. And very much of these religious political elites um, they 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 kind of like to use God to constrain and restrict themselves and particularly um, other people and um, um, you know the universe is inhabited by num 
one people and so is infinity because if the infinity encapsulates or contains an infinite amount of universes infinitely on the same scale of existence through to the infinitely small through to the infinitely large as above so below and for um, the perception of God it, it's it's undefined uh, it's like defining something finite to something that's actually truly undefined and cannot be measured um, it can be perceived graphically um, but um, what you can only infinite infinity is just something that you can perceive graphically but you can't um, define it through to a finite perspective and that's what um, the use of God does and it is um, it, it narrows the perception of um, things and as well as constrains the mind from ideas where it actually senses uh, as I've always mentioned that the word God actually senses the deeper things um, because many things on this planet people actually call God um, from and then there's many different types of theism for example um, if you google it up Um, it actually gives you uh, many different and many different forms of theism, monotheism. Um, this ending of the letter tends to be monotheistic, and much of the problems, um, the religions which are monotheistic, um, have caused much of the all been used to cause much of the wars and problems. Um, this, you know, very um, extraterrestrial star people positive. This whole, almost this whole entire write-up. But at the end, it kind of ruins the whole write-up when you bring in the word God. It, it ruins all this consciousness because it narrows down this infinite perspective into this finite perception at the bottom and um, you get different types polytheism panetheism panetheism deism autotheism I am atheist. I don't believe in God. Um, I don't even understand the word God because it's, you can't understand it because it's different types over here. Um, you can't, I don't even know uh, God because the reason why I don't know God because God does not exist. There is not enough evidence. It's all perception. It's all what people perceive when they observe the finite portion of infinity from on how they can calculate and try and understand it. Um, so I choose to be atheist, and when when I I just found that. Being atheist, you remove this barrier, this block, mental blockage that's, I, I think, it, which has been invented and often used to control people with some sort of um, pristine or uh, um, controlling um, authority over people. Um, which much of the religious elites people do to to implement policy, to implement law, to, which is not of natural law. 
the religious political elites bring up natural law, um, so for example, such as Hitler, but they it's it's natural law of a virus, not um, the majority of um, organisms in the in in the in the universe, for example, or even on this planet. Um, for example, um, animals that kill their own kind. And there seems to be uh, how how many animals kill by animals? It seems to be that it's only se seven out of the entire animal species that kill their own kind. Okay. Um, tiger, shark, polar bears, spiders, hamsters, chickens. Um, they forgot human beings. <laughs> um, well, not the well, not human beings in the um, extraterrestrial sense, but Earth-based human beings. Um, I think it's because of the relationship with the chimp and chimp. Oh, they forgot chimpanzees, chimpanzees and doves. Um, uh, the the yeah, chimps. Okay. Six biggest ones. Um, ants, lion, um, not right up. It's not like kept human beings, jumps, human beings, they kill each other. Um, well. And then you basically got uh, a virus. Um, so you got all these um, different types of theists, um, which is why. Um, this doesn't work. Um, it's it's, it's uh, really um, you can't. It, it's really, to be honest, it's dumped or lowered the consciousness of this entire place. I am by Stephen Greer. Uh, well, I well, he is Earth space, so he knows quite a bit, but. Seriously, um, you know, to be honest, God should have been left out of it, um, and rather be focused on, you know, I don't have an issue about people believing deities and things like that, but when it comes to serious issues um, in regards to exopolitics, for example, throwing God into it just this is what this is what the allies of humanity um, um, all like to, but they like you know very much like this. Um, um, they very much go with this monotheistic approach, um, trying to um, retain the. I call it the God censorship over the deep meaning of things, or the deeper things. Um, it's kind of like, you know, it's stopping people from looking further and trying to understand the you know, life, the universe, and everything further. Bam! God, it's God. That's it. It's it's kind of putting a limit limitation on your thinking. And that what God, that's what God actually is. It, it's a limitation on thought and thinking and consciousness. It's not part of consciousness that people try and think it is. Um, it isn't. And, um, and the, the people waking up to things, but the biggest thing to wake up from is um, the God delusion. And much of my uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, 
um, child abuse and everything was all done in the name of God, actually. And um, this is kind of like you see me with all help me wake up in this, by growing up on this planet. Um, if I, um, I don't know, depending on what family I've brought up with, um, would I have? I think I think I would have actually have denied the existence of God from whatever family I basically got brought up on this planet. On. So I'm gonna finish off this now, and um, and you know you can't I can't comment and view my points that you know this is very to be honest stupid. This is stupid, but this is good. It, it, the stupid thing, the last final paragraph just basically ruined the whole thing. Now I'll finish. Much love, no matter.